I'm doing my first doll unboxing on YouTube. First one, yeah! Spirit fingers. And I'm reviewing a doll that is my favorite. Well, she's one of my favorites. I actually, when I got this lot, oh, look at that. I, I woke up and I have this, like, see that? Yeah, I don't know. Which that should be like the YouTube, like the the starting picture, like the woo, look at the, the flyaways. Um, this doll is one of my favorites. I think she's from 1990 or 1991, so it, it's totally like my childhood. I remember playing with these dolls as a little kid. I'm really excited for the, the accessory that's in there because I want to see if it still smells good. Um, so this is actually, this particular doll is why I bought this lot. I bought a lot of four dolls, which they're all going to get reviewed. Some are very basic. <laughs> um, this was a budget line back in the, I think it was a budget line. Uh, cause the doll, I, re I remember the dolls weren't that expensive. Cause they're a swimsuit doll, but they're not re, I don't, you'll see what I mean. So today I'm reviewing Hawaiian Fun Skipper. Now, I love this doll. I think she's a me. Oh, just put on some sweet scent. Comes with brush too. She like has the anime face, which I'll get into. That I guess the, that's a thing in like the '90s. Like that's what they called it, is the anime face. I mean, I, I guess I can kind of see it. Like, if you look at, like, anime dolls of, like, Sailor Moon, like, they kind of look alike. Um, the box says, swimsuit and shades for tropical beaches, a uh, skirt for dancing, the hula at fun parties, put on some sweet scent, comes with brush too. Back when dolls had brushes. <laughs> I feel so sorry for these children. They gotta go to the dollar store and they gotta buy their own brush, which is probably a better quality brush anyway, because nobody really used those brushes back in the day when you were a kid, neither. But I mean, it was the thought that counts. Um, beach and sun, fun by day, hula, hulas and parties by moonlight. Grammar, Mattel. Grammar. <laughs> um... Vacation excitement that goes on and on. Each sold separately. There's like a thing that said, like an asterisk that says available soon, but like none of the dolls are like with a little asterisk. Um, here's the, the back of the box. I like the back of the boxes. See, and you can see them all. There's Jazzy and Ken and Barbie, and Kira, Steven, Christy, and Skipper. I love like how the like this is like this is true '90s like stylings. I like it. And then this one is just the scent contains propylene glycol, glycol, water, sodium. Fragrance, methyl, paraben. So this is probably like against the law now to sell to children because it's got stuff in it. It is from 1990, so I was in kindergarten slash first grade. So that's, like I said, this is my generation of, of Barbie. Um... Well, it says it conforms to the safety requirements of the ASTM. I don't know what that is. I don't know what the ASTM is. Apparently, in 1990, this is good. It probably is still good. We'll find out. If it doesn't, it might kill me. Who cool? Like, <laughs> it's, it's all good. Um, made in Malaysia. Sold solid fragrance made. Oh, I don't know the fragrance made in Italy. Manufactured for Mattel. There's my proof of purchase. I don't know why they did that. That's supposed to be like the box is your proof of purchase. So, yeah, this doll like retails online now from like thirty dollars to fifty dollars online. I've, I've seen it anywhere. The the box is a little damaged. Like I don't know if anybody else has that problem 
with dolls. Like, maybe it was just this lot that I got, but, like, the plastic is, like, the plastic in here is, is brittle. And I, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be brittle, but it was. So here's the unboxing part. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. I was looking forward to one of those, like, those Barbie pamphlets. Like, I'm, I'm hoping, like, one of the freaking dolls that I have over on my doll shelf will have it when I get unboxed. Because 90 day warranty. Here's, it comes with a warranty. Mattel Toy warrants this perch customer, purchaser, or any toy product that manufactures their products will be free from defects and material or registered for 90 days from the date of purchase. I wonder if they ever have, like, dolls that are returned that are, like, old. Like, I'm returning this doll because it's defective. <laughs> like, but it was made in 1999. I just opened it and learned that it was defective. Um, back in the day... You can, you can receive four issues of Barbie magazine for seven fifty. That is a good description. I wonder if they have anybody that does that too. Um, yeah. Canadian subscriptions add three dollars per year. This is why Canadians don't like us because we charged them extra for shit. I can't say shit on YouTube, can I? Sorry. Um. Yeah. So it's it's the warranty for Skipper. Do you remember when they had these, like, things that, like, held the dolls in? Like, now they have, they don't even have really twisty ties, they have, like, strings or something. Here's the brush that no one ever uses. Oh, it's, it's a little open. I, I'm really excited. I mean, there's, there's no air in there. Well, there is a little air in there. Let's find out if there's still smell. This is the shit. I can't say that. I'm sorry. I'm very excited. Oh, this will not fit my wrist anymore. I need an extender. And so, there, it always, all of these dolls came with this, a bracelet that's very similar and a little... Um, it's like a, well, it's, it's perfume. It's like a, a, a balm perfume, I suppose. Is there any in, that's how they kept it from drying out. It's got a little, I don't remember this on my dolls. really light. I remember that being a lot stronger back in the day. But this doll is old. That was actually my most exciting part of opening this doll. Here's her skirts. Ole, 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 ole. This was also kind of like around the time like where the aerial dolls were huge, so it was like beach and ocean was like the doll thing. Here's the sunglasses. I'm trying to figure out where my camera is right over here. Oh my god, I have not un unboxed one of these dolls. You'll have to forgive me because the unboxing one of these dolls takes a moment. Like back in the, back in the maybe that's why they don't do it anymore because it takes a moment. And actually, literally, there's only two of them, so really, it shouldn't take very long. What I liked about um, what I liked about these things is that like today you get these dolls with these like 
things that are in their heads and they're hard to get out. Oh wow, that, that was way easier than I remembered. Oh, she's got wobble syndrome. Oh, maybe it's because it's, she's supposed to hula. Skipper, you're beautiful. Her rubber bands have not disintegrated. Maybe it's because they're different. Oh, yeah, it has. Now I see what they mean about the, the disintegrating headband. So we'll have to do something with your hair, girl. Um, the green and the orange headband are okay, but let's see if you can see it. See how that one just disintegrated? It's like ripped right down the middle. I don't remember Skipper being that wobbly. She's so pretty though. And her hair is so soft. And it's like curly. Dolls never stayed this way for very long with me. I mean, they'll probably, she'll probably stay... Sorry for that. <laughs> she'll probably stay nicer now because I don't really play with them. I display them. Um, she's got a nice tan. Let's see if you can see her face. Like, so hello. Yeah. Um, I like the skipper bodies a lot too. Let's talk about this for a minute. This is probably going to be my favorite part of the skipper. Yeah, that's my favorite part of the skipper. Because Barbies don't do that anymore. I don't know why. It's because... I don't know. But it's held on to the old style of non-movable legs. So Barbies sit like that when they're sitting in a chair. Um, I also like skipper... Barbie's kind of this too, because they had like the bendable like arms like that. But I like the fact that like Skipper went like up and down, but it also went out. So like she could have like a wider, a wider. Come on, girl. Girl, you've been working out. Look at that. Look at them guns. <laughs> uh, I like that she has, she's articulate. That's what you get for getting old dolls. You hear that, like, creak? Like, creak, well, maybe it's just, they're, they're just old, uh, yeah, I don't remember her having that. So, and then, I'm not sure exactly how to do reviews. I'm trying. So I like that she has the bend. She doesn't come with shoes. You can always tell that they have the bend and snap knee when they have like the those little things. Um, she doesn't have pierced ears because she was a she was a beach doll. She comes in this really great swimsuit. It doesn't change color. But I I, th I think maybe like her waist is supposed to do that. I don't remember. Oh. Back when Mattel used snaps instead of Velcro. Mattel, I don't know what's wrong with you anymore. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can get this on. There we go. It's like, it's not like the best skirt. Because it's like made out of plastic. I don't know, the swimsuit isn't, like, you know what I like about this swimsuit? It's not painted on. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to fix her hair and put her on a stand and have her sit on my shelf because she's cool. She's a cool skipper. Well, these don't really go on anymore, do they? Yeah, Luna, I'm so mad at you. Girl peed on my carpet. Okay. 
Well, that doesn't really work anymore. I don't know. I, they definitely have improved doll glasses a lot <laughs> since then, because these are just not fitting her face. That's okay, because she's pretty the way she is. Like, hello, everybody. It's like fooling. Yeah, see, did you hear that? It's like the insides are. And I, I really do think it's just because of age. Um, yeah, she's gonna go on my shelf. Here's a close up. Let me if I can. Here. Okay, so that part of my camera is good. Like, it. Like, you can really see her face. And I think that this particular doll goes for so much because it is, like, it's a part of my childhood. Um, as it's a part of many people's childhoods. Like, you'll find, like, dolls that are cheaper. But they're not as, like, the remembered ones. Like... I was looking for a Hollywood hair Barbie the other day. I was like, I really need a Hollywood hair Barbie. I actually really wanted the Hollywood hair Teresa. Because, like, I have no Teresas in my collection. And, like, there was one, and I was going for $175. And I was like, mm, no. I, I love Barbie, and I will spend... I will... I'll, I usually will spend about 20 bucks for a Barbie. Give or, give or take. I... I have spent more for some Barbies that are not Barbies that I might be reviewing later, but I don't want to talk about it. See, my hair is still doing it. Um, we'll be surprised for later. Um, but, so here she is. This is Hawaiian Fun Skipper. She likes the camera. And that is my review for today because now I have to get ready for work. I wish I worked for Mattel. Because the first thing I would do is reinstate the bend of the snap knee. Say goodbye, Skipper. How do you end videos? Like, like it's like, bye everyone. And this has been a Barbie Guy 1985 production.